diving in the cold water of the creek at the peak of winter season. Remember waking up like you were looking at the reason. Yes. Remember setting boundaries. Remember crossing lines. Coming Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another vlog. So, I'm really excited for today's vlog. As I kind of hinted at in a few of my last videos, I am going away. So I'm actually heading to Vancouver to meet up with some friends and then I also have some family out there. But I'm heading out to Vancouver for a few days so I thought it'd be fun to do just a little like pack and prep vlog. Although there's not much to prep because I still can't get my nails done um, or like eyelash extensions or anything of the like fun typical like travel prep stuff. But I did get an Aritzia and an H&M order in, so I thought we'd go through that and then go through kind of my whole like packing process, pack with you guys, and like just do a little travel prep day in my life and a vlog. That's what today's video is going to be. I'm so excited to take you guys to Vancouver with me. I've never been and I'm so excited. Also, I thought I'd briefly, briefly mention, so there's no restrictions on travel within Canada because it's national travel, so it's all good. Also, we're leaving on July 2nd, so any travel restrictions as well are being completely released. Vancouver's mask bylaw is also being released. I think all of BC, actually. They, they will no longer have a mask bylaw in place. So, in terms of safety and stuff, we are good to go. But let me show you guys what I got from Aritzia. Part of my Aritzia clientele order just came. So we're going to do a little unboxing and like show you guys what I got. I didn't get a whole lot because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money and I'm saving right now. But I got a few pieces. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. I love you. I'm so excited. I haven't bought anything from Aritzia since this time last year. All right, let's do a little show of what I got. So first up, okay, obviously I have a color theme going on here. I also didn't get a whole lot, but like I got some stuff. So I got these biker shorts in plain air with a little matching bra and then this little t-shirt in the same color as well. Don't worry, I'm going to do a try on, but I thought I'd just show you guys as well. And then I got a new pair of just plain black biker shorts. These are the ones that I already had, but like I've had them for three years and they're getting really pilly. So I just bought a new pair and then I also... Got this bodysuit. I hope it fits all right because I'm super tall. So hopefully this fits my 5'9 body, but it's the Babaton seamless little bodysuit. All right, let's do a little try on. Okay, so this is the bodysuit. I, um, I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like some people can pull this off really well. Um, I'd like it, but like the straps are a little tight on me. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this some thought and see if I want to keep it. Like, it's cute, and I feel like you can dress this up or dress it down, but I don't know yet. So then this is the baby blue set. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I actually, my friend Alyssa on Instagram, she inspired me. She has this, like, um, she has a pair of the Aritzia biker shorts and, like, a sports bra in this plain air color, and I thought it was so pretty. It's, like, the literal lightest baby blue, but... Yeah, these are just the bike shorts, and then I just threw the t-shirt over top of the little sports bra, the little sports bra's a little tee back, but I honestly think this is so cute because it's like, they're all the same color, and it's such a fit. I'm so glad I got this, I think it's so adorable. And I also got some things from H&M, so I'm just gonna show you guys that before I get into packing because like, I always buy stuff before I go on vacation, but it's just like a part of the prepping and the packing process, so you guys need to see what I got as well. All right, and this is what I got from H&M. So first up, this most adorable four-piece set. So it's just this little t-shirt cardigan, this little bralette, and then pants or shorts. I'm so excited. I think this is going to likely be my airport outfit, but I think I'm gonna do the pants and the bra and the cardigan. I'm absolutely in love with this. And I got a little white bucket hat this blue sparkly dress i didn't it didn't look so sparkly online but it's gorgeous anyways this little light baby blue tie-up cardigan just a giant plain hoodie which cozy it's great and then also just another loungewear set so it's just a black rib tank top and then leggings so i'm not gonna do a try on because i'm bringing some of these pieces with me to vancouver but these are just some of the things i got from h&m Okay, 
So I'm actually going to get into packing now. My plan is hopefully, because we're only going for four and a half, five days, to fit everything into my carry-on. We'll see how that goes because the carry-on suitcase is pretty small, but I always just make up a little packing list. Make up a little packing list of like general things that I need, nothing really specific in there. I am so a mess right now in terms of like what outfits and clothes I wanna bring. Like we're doing lots of hikes and like outdoor things. So I don't know how cute my outfits are gonna be, but we'll make it work. Um, yeah, let's just get started because I don't really know where I wanna start. I'm gonna start in my closet and see if there's anything here that I wanna take. We are going or like trying to go to at least one like nicer fancy dinner, so. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I was thinking that I would likely wear maybe this tank, this like tank blouse, cause I think it's really pretty and maybe some pants. So I think I'm just gonna start picking out pieces and like slowly trying to figure out what I want to bring. Right on to tops that I want to bring. I really, I have no clue. I have no clue what I want to wear. I'm thinking I want to bring this little halter. Maybe this tee. A wrap top. This is the situation that we have going on right now. I grabbed some kind of more essential pieces, graphic tee, some jean shorts, bike shorts, workout clothes. And then I also remember that I have these packing cubes. I don't know if I'm gonna use them yet, but I haven't used them since I got them, so they might be helpful. And then bathing suits. Taking a quick little packing break here to have some lunch. So I just quickly did up a little salad with spinach, feta, cucumber, tomato, avocado, and some grilled chicken. Just super simple, literally just threw it together because I'm leaving in less than 48 hours and I have to pack, so. Here's the situation. While it looks like a little bit of organized chaos, like, I think I figured it out, and it still looks like a lot of clothes for only five days, but trust me, I'll be changing probably like two times a day, so it's fine. So we're gonna start over here. Um, neutral bras, of course, so they go with everything. This is my airport outfit, which I already showed you guys earlier from H&M. We have all little tanks, interesting tops, bras, bralettes, all that type of thing here, as well as two bathing suits, and then two dress shirts, just my thrifted vintage Tommy one, my Gap one, and then a fancy dress in case we go out for dinner that's a nicer dinner. We got a zip up hoodie, and then I'm bringing the matching sweatshorts, and then a bigger hoodie just in case as well. I know we mentioned possibly going stargazing, so that is that. A baseball cap, um, hiking, and then just, it's supposed to be hot and sunny, so I thought that was a good idea. And then I also did two little bandanas as tops or just in hair, because those are cute. We got jean shorts here, one pair of black, two pair of blue. I'm still deciding if I want to bring this little tie-up sweater. Two pairs of jeans, one white, one blue. Workout stuff two hiking tees and a graphic tee, and then skirt and the sweatshirts I already mentioned. So, I feel like I did a pretty good job, and while I'm remembering, these are the shoes I'm bringing. So, little black heels when we're going out for dinner, um, some nicer sandals, as well as hiking slash workout shoes, and then I'm gonna be wearing my Air Forces to the airport. I also think I'm gonna grab a pair of like little tiny flip-flops to throw in, just in case we go to the beach. I'm gonna try to manage and fit all that in the carry-on size suitcase, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go to the size up, the like mid-size suitcase that I have. But first I'm gonna kind of try and organize them into the packing cubes and see where we can go from there. Taking a little break from packing to go do a workout because I'm starting to get a headache from like just 
trying to figure so much out and just a little bit stressed. I always get stressed when I travel and yeah, this is also my first time traveling in literally two years. So the last time I went anywhere was summer 2019. So I'm very excited to be going away. I know it's still like national, still within my own country, but like there's a little bit of stress there because just I'm an anxious person and I get anxiety about that. So I'm going to go do a little stress relief workout, get a good sweat in and then come back and finish doing my packing. I'm in my head, I think, but it's cool I think I overthink You got the remedy, then come through Please do I got lots of time on my hands But no time in my head was new I got lots of love in my heart That I really wanna share with you That's true Talking from the baseline I got lots of hang time I can say you was mine But I never been fine I've been thinking backwards I've been lost for some time Who can help me find what's true? So now as far as organizing my actual suitcase, typically in this top zip up part, what I do is put shoes and anything bulkier. So like my cosmetics case, maybe my jeans and sweatshirts if I can fit them. And then everything else goes in here. And looking at this right now, I'm already thinking like my carry on is not going to fit everything. So I'm going to go grab my Baker suitcase. <laughs> wondering why they're in plastic bags it's because they're dirty and this just keeps the dirt contained so super great idea if you didn't know this already I love doing this All right, now that all the clothes are packed away and out of the way, it's time to do jewelry. So I'm gonna pick out my jewelry and accessories, probably some scrunchies, some clips. Also, when I'm traveling, I pack all of my jewelry into these little Missouri bags. I just, they're super useful. I used to have like a jewelry organizer, but now I just use those. And in case you didn't already know this, wear your most expensive jewelry on you or bring it with you in your carry-on at all times. So like I'll be wearing my Chanel, probably my Missouri, probably my Swarovski. Um, this is probably the most expensive one that I'm bringing. I'm just gonna wear that probably the entire time, but I think I'm probably going to wear and bring these hoops and these hoops and these ones, and that'll probably be it. And then probably just I'll wear the necklaces that I'm bringing. I also thought I'd show you guys that I'm bringing two bags that I have to fit in here, but I'm gonna bring my little Peta and Jane brown bag and then this little fanny pack that I have for hiking and stuff. It's just nice and easy to sling on. Um, it's very similar to the Lulu bum bag, but I've had it for years, but yeah. Um, but also I stuck my jewelry in this little pouch here. So it just zips open and I stick it down there to keep it nice and safe. I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little get ready for a travel day with me, get ready for a trip, how I pack my suitcase, all that fun stuff that we're finally starting to get to do again now that life is getting back to normal. But I will see you guys in my next video. I'll see you in Vancouver. I am so excited, I've never been. But yeah, I love you all so much, bye. Multiple so many times Fun math Remember where you met me at the handshake The conversation flirtatious with the eye contact Well I do, I know you do too